and assalamualaikum. My name is Nuryana Shamimi and I'm from class DC2. Did you know that Pakistan is bordered by Iran, Afghanistan, China, and India, making it a bridge between what the West considers the Middle East and Asia. So today, I'm going to present the topic of entertaining visitors in Pakistan, including tips when meeting a person, do and don'ts of table manners, and how to practice business etiquette to build relationships and communication. So first of all, I will start with tips when meeting a person. First, greetings are generally formal in Pakistan. When addressing a person for the first time, use your last name followed by Sahib Sahib, literally meaning Mr. For people of different profession, use their specified title. For example, Brigadier, which means doctor, followed by their surname. Second, strangers will speak to each other in the formal register of Urdu. For the third one, the family register is only used when talking to friends and young family. Fourth, the most common greeting among Pakistanis is Assalamu Alaikum, which means peace be upon you. Fifth, elders are greeted first out of respect. Well acquainted men may hug each other upon greeting. However, when greeting strangers, business associates, or those of a very different status, for instance, an elder, one usually shakes hands and respectfully places their right hand over the heart of the words. Six, women may kiss each other on both cheeks if they know each other well. Strangers generally meet each other with a handshake. In more traditional circumstances, men and women will share a verbal greeting but make no physical contact. Business introductions between men and women may involve a handshake if initiated by the women. Physical contact such as hugs, handshakes, and kisses is only considered appropriate between men and women if they are family or close friend. For the last one, liberal middle class Pakistanis may say adab, which means respect and politeness while lifting a hand to their forehead. Next, I'm going to share about do and don'ts of table manners, which is dining etiquette for eating in Pakistan. The do's are, it's polite to graciously accept tea and refreshments served in social situations. People wait for elders to sit down and begin before eating. Pakistanis will often use their hands to eat rather than cutlery. Pakistanis often offer their guests additional helpings of food. It is acceptable to refuse, however, expect the host to insist. It can be easier and also more polite to graciously accept. If offered food you don't like or perhaps a hookah, you may place your hand on your heart and bow your head to decline the offer. If eating out, one person usually pays for everyone's meals. Paying individually on an outing is usually only done amongst close friends. For the don'ts. Don't pass, serve or spoon food to one's mouth with the left hand because it is considered as a bad etiquette. It is should be used to hold a plate or assist the right hand in serving food. Women should be careful not to directly touch food that is being served to a Muslim male, other than those who are her immediate relatives. Never 
to use your left hand for eating especially if you are eating directly with your hands do not take the last bit of food from the central serving plate that means there will be none left in case someone else wants more also a sauce may be mixed with rice and eaten together with the main dish you are not expected to hold the rice bowl up by your mouth so for dining etiquette for beginning to eat do not begin to eat or drink until the oldest man at the table has been served and has begun don't offer to pay someone back for a meal instead reciprocate by purchasing a gift or paying next time so for the last one is how to practice business etiquette to build relationships and communication number one third-party introductions are a necessity in this relationship driven culture number two Pakistanis prefer to work with people they know and trust and they will spend a great deal of time on the getting to know you part of relationship building number three you must not appear frustrated by what may appear to be purely social conversation Pakistanis are hospitable and enjoy hosting foreign guests number four relationships take time to grow and must be nurtured this may require several visits number five Pakistanis often ask personal questions as a way to get to know you as a person number six if possible it is best to answer these questions last but not least Pakistanis prefer to the business in person. They see the telephone as too impersonal a medium for business communication. So that's all from me. Thank you.